Hello, this is Heisenberg with the Funko Pop Godzillas. On the left is the Glow in the Dark New York Comic Con 2015 exclusive version. Then uh, to the right of that is the gray version, also New York Comic Con exclusive. On the right of that is the standard green version, and on the far right is the Burning Godzilla. Let's start with the Burning Godzilla. He's the most recent. Came out November 2015, limited to 3,000 copies, sells for about $30. I've only seen it for sale online. I've not seen it in any actual stores. It is a GTS exclusive. You might be wondering, what the hell is GTS? Well, I guess we'll try to figure that out later. So, yeah, so he's very black. Uh, yeah, look at this. Look at how dark he is. He's very, he's very dark. And that uh, the burning, as you'll see, well, you can't see it now, but the sort of like the pattern, the pattern of his, uh, of uh, the orange paint makes it, looks a bit like a bikini, as uh, other people have uh, pointed out. Uh, but I really like the spikes. So let's also look at the standard version. Here's the standard version, which is uh, sort of green, though it's sort of a pale green in this light. Notice it has red gums. Uh, and this is the only of the four, this is the only version that has uh, red gums around the mouth. I think it's a little a little bit too much. I think the gums are a little, uh, a little too pronounced. But uh, yeah, so the standard version also came out November 2015, sells for $15. I have seen this in stores and online, like I've seen it at GameStop, for example. So let's start comparing. So notice, yeah, look at, look at, notice how, just how dark the uh, Burning Godzilla is. It's kind of a char, kind of a dark charcoal black. Uh, I, I, li I do like the orange spikes. I like those. Uh, I think the the kind of bikini pattern of the uh, of the orange is 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 okay, but uh, but not not too great. So here's the gray and the green. So it's you can sort of see makes the green a little more obvious, and. Uh, yeah, or the gray or the black and white. And then on the right there is the glow-in-the-dark version, which is basically blue. And so, yeah, well, if it glows in the dark, well, let's, let's see it. There it is. Here it is glowing in the dark. It actually glows rather dimly. I sort of had to adjust my camera to pick it up better. So I do like how this, I like the photos, actually. I think the photos look better than the, the way it actually looks in person, glowing in the dark. I was, I remember as a kid, glow-in-the-dark stuff used to glow like much more brightly than this thing does. But uh, I, I do like it, but I like glow-in-the-dark stuff. So yeah, here's all four. If I actually had to pick just one, you know, to put on my shelf or to buy, I think I'd actually, uh, I actually prefer the gray one, I think, the most. Because uh, I don't like the red, red gums on the green version. And oh, and then, so here we are. Here's the, uh, another Funko Godzilla, the Mystery Mini Funko Godzilla. The little guy down front there. So you can compare those. I have a separate review of the Mystery Mini Godzilla. So you can see a lot more of them in that video. But yeah, it's fairly tiny, but uh, uh, but it's also kind of rather stylized. So here's the standard version with a seven inch uh, Bandai, the 1968 Godzilla. So these Funkos are six inches. They're supersized Funkos. Uh, so larger than the standard uh, Funko Pops. And then this is the NECA, this is the uh, NECA 1954 Godzilla, uh, comparing these two. So you can see, really, really points out just how stylized the uh, Funko Godzilla is. Uh, and here's sort of a sta stylized Bandai. This is sort of a stylized uh, Mecha Godzilla that Bandai put out a few years ago. Yeah, so it's sort of, uh, so I think that's, that, in my collection, I think that's the closest thing I have to something like this. So let's look at the box, and then we'll look we'll look at the figures more closely later too. So they all come in the same box. Uh, yeah, got Pop uh, Movies, Funko Pop Movies, Godzilla number two hundred thirty nine. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of pops. And uh, yeah, yeah. So again, it's bigger. It's uh, bigger than the standard uh, Funko. It's a super sized one. So it comes in a big. So he's bigger, and it comes in a noticeably bigger box. Here's the bottom of the box. The other versions come in the exact same box, except they have little stickers on them. So in this case, we've got a GTS exclusive sticker and a really lame looking sticker it is. It's blurry. Can't even, you can barely tell it says GTS. My word, how how pathetic that is. And then uh, Toy Tokyo was the one, 
the company that sold the ones at New York Comic Con, so they put a Toy Tokyo sticker on theirs. And okay, so here here he is again. Yeah, so here it, here's the GTS exclusive. So I looked them up. GTS. It turns out they're a whole they're a wholesaler. So I guess uh, so I guess if you're a retailer and you want to sort of like get uh, this Burning Godzilla to sell in your store, the only place you can get it. Uh, apparently is uh, G is the GTS wholesaler that you know they have it exclusively so yeah I'd never heard of GTS before so so there we are so yeah so again here's another comparison a little closer up so you can see those red gums really kind of stick out compared to the other ones and uh, yeah yeah so I said I kind of like the gray one the, the yeah this burning yeah this uh, burning Godzilla I like him too but I think it's like, I don't like that he's just, I think he's just a little too black. He's a little too dark. And, uh, but I like these, I like the orange spikes on the back. And again, as I said before, the pattern, you know, the pattern uh, on his torso of the, of the part of him that's, that's burning uh, could be, could be a little better. But I like those, yeah, I like those orange eyes. So yeah, here's the standard one. Yeah, those red gums are a little bit much. Another thing I don't like is that if you, is that you know with my figures I like to look at them very closely and look at the, how well painted they are, and I've really struggled trying to find uh, you know find ones that have a really good paint job. That basically on all all of them, when I look closely I can see like paint splattered around. In fact, this was uh, I, you know I it took me uh, a few tries to find a uh, standard version that I liked. The first standard version I saw had black paint black paint. Uh, like splattered on its face. It was not noticeable at a distance, but close up you could see it and it really, really bothered me. So yeah, here's the black, here's the, excuse me, the glow in the dark one, which uh, and again, I really like the glow in the dark gimmick. So this one sells, you know, I think costs the most to buy on eBay. Again, they only sold it at New York Comic Con. So pretty much the only way to get it now is on eBay. And uh, so I, I like, I like the idea that he glows in the dark. I just wish he glowed brighter. So here, so we're going to look at them all again. So there they are, uh, the four Funko Godzillas, at least four of them uh, so far. Yeah, yeah. I, I assume if we keep buying them, they're going to keep making more. So this is Heisenberg, hoping you enjoy your Funko Pop Godzillas.